Hey, 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 come on in. Dummy Cherry's here. Welcome, you guys. All right, we are in the setting here to get to play with what we love here best our makeup goodies okay um so before i get started i want to bring the spotlight and try it for the first time on my end this infallible brow up to 24 hours wear volumizing mascara product here new grab and um still at the stores available but you may find it a bit cheaper from tj maxx and marshall 3.99 and um this is in the shade 3.0 soft black so we have i'm coming in bare and we're gonna see what this has there has under its wing for my brow and if i may need any assistance from you know hair like strokes using other stuff pencils or uh liners will do just that as well or crayon will do just that as well so we're gonna go ahead and start my brows with this this is what the brush and the bristle this is not even a bristle like this is like a little brush with the tips are more plasticky um, it comes out with quite a few or quite a bit of product you may need to just press it on the side to remove any excess if you don't want it to you know be overpowering so we're gonna go ahead and go right in this has fibers in it to give you that hairy or to hold on to your natural hair and create the volume that you want or need and thicken the brow as you would normally need with you know and it comes you know you see the shape of it the tip is much shorter versus the back let's go ahead and build up that um let's allow this side to dry as i go to the other side doing the same thing and then add on a little bit more once this side dries up i am using a very light stroke not i don't want it to attached to my skin rather on the hair so just be careful we don't want the mess or the product sticking onto our skin because the goal is to make the brow thicker all right so this is what my brow looked like as a first layer i'm gonna go in a little bit more this time because I do want to see more of that fiber effect on my brow It is definitely giving me that fullness effect. So if you one that needs or like prefer a light natural brow, this is the right tool. Um, I will allow this to dry and see if it holds the brow as well. I like it um let's read a little bit about it so the lightweight fiber charge formula instantly thickens and volumizes your brow the 3d grit brow coat everyday coats everyday brow hair for fuller looking brow that lasts all day smudge resistance flake resistance um, transfer resistant and easy to remove what else do we need so from what I get here, it will hold up. It is resistant in so many ways. Um, it will not transfer, transfer resistant. It says smudge resistant and easy to move as you go throughout the day. So I'm liking this and I do like the fullness effect that it gives me without it looking bulky like the crayon effect or the pencil effect. It looks more natural. Um, what I will add on to this is 
slightly sculpting around it and then let it do its thing with what it got going it has going on and clean it up with mascara and i'll be good to go so let's finalize it and i'll show you guys the end result So you let me know what type of bra I'm having today. Love, love, love. I just paired it up with the L'Oreal Infallible Everything Infallible Infallible Ling. Um, brow, uh, 24 hours, mascara, tinted, something. We saw what it looks like, how it filled up my brow. And this front concealer, I keep putting... You know when I come here and I use this stuff? Um, I'm going to be quite frank with you. I love these products and I use them. It's always like... A joyful moment coming here to enjoy them with you guys but once I see something else I just jump to it and I keep forgetting like out of mind out of sight situation but when I revisit this and this is what I'm purposely um, forcing myself to not forcing but working on is to revisit these products stop buying new stuff cuz look at look how juicy this dough foot is I forgot like the greatness of this concealer how it looks on the skin and how it feels and not the comfort using this doe foot like the elf doe foot um yeah i why i stopped using this listen i got me two we did i think i believe i did create a look using these um concealers through 415 is what i use on the brows and i have 395 which is of course my highlighted shade looking like so these are the two next to each other so yeah how do i feel about this infallible l'oreal never fails me um i love this i got me to grab yours whether it's at marshall's or tj maxx or full price alta or walmart or wherever you may find it but check out tj maxx and marshall for these brow goodies because it will not disappoint all i needed to do is to fill out my sparse areas with my pencil and everywhere else i have hair on this handles it it took care of it and we're looking natural and pretty with the brow so yeah let's move on to the rest of the face check out the video of the rest of the face hopefully this little quick demo um assist you guys as to choosing your next best brow product if you're already using this let me know how you feel about it and um, if you're not give it a try and let me know how you like it and how you feel about it so thank you for watching i'll see you guys and do check out the full face and everything and uh, until next time